Thank you very much. Uh, Kenfite is an Israeli uh, biopharmaceutical company. We are in advanced clinical stage of development. We develop a small molecule orally bioavailable drugs for the treatment of inflammatory and cancer indications. We have a robust clinical proof of concept from phase two and phase three clinical studies. I will take you through it. And uh, we have successfully licensed out uh, our two lead drug candidates, uh, piclidenozone and namodenozone, and got into the company $20 million out of upfront money and more $130 million are going to get into the company upon successful milestones that we will reach relating to regulatory and sales milestones. The company is dually listed on the Tel Aviv and on the uh, New York uh, Stock Exchange. And uh, let's just jump into the unique platform technology of our company. So on the right side of the slide, you can see what we have found. We found that pathological cells like inflammatory and cancer cells express, very highly express, a specific cell surface receptor, which we are targeting. When our drugs get into the body, they can bind only to this green structure, the A3 adenosine receptor, but not to the normal body cells because they are nude. Upon binding of our drugs to the receptor, they will induce cell death and the pathological cells will be eradicated from the body, whereas the normal body cells will be refractory to the effect of the drugs. As of such, we know today that we have an excellent safety profile based on the fact that we have already treated more than 1,500 patients with our drugs. We also have proven therapeutic effect, as I mentioned in phase two and phase three clinical studies. Let's jump right away into the company pipeline. So our first drug candidate is piclidenozone, and we currently uh, have an ongoing phase three clinical studies. We are going to announce complete of patient enrollment very shortly, and data from this study are going to be released towards end of this year, 2021. With the very same drug, which has a robust anti-inflammatory effect, we have an open IND with the FDA to treat patients with COVID-19. Enrollment is ongoing, and we also envision the data will come up out before end of this year. The second drug candidate is namodenozone. It is positioned for the treatment of patients with advanced liver cancer. We are doing all the preparatory work for a phase three pivotal clinical study. And we are treating also patients with NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It's accumulation of fat in the liver in patients who are not consuming alcohol. We have successfully concluded a phase two clinical study, and now we just announced that we are initiating the phase B, 2B clinical study. Last but not least, we have two programs in preclinical studies. Our drug CF602, which is positioned for erectile dysfunction, not for healthy subjects, but for patients who suffer from diabetes or from cardiovascular indications. And also we are doing some work with cannabinoids who also target the very same receptor. Cannabinoids can also bind here and deduce cell death. So we have the capability to identify specific cannabinoids and to push them into the clinic. Let me take you now through the robust clinical proof of concept that we have. So regarding the ongoing phase three clinical study, we have conducted 
uh, during October 2020 an interim analysis where we could show basically the company was blinded to the data, but there was a committee on top of the data which showed both efficacy and safety for this drug. And they very highly recommended to continue patient enrollment. Now we are very close to the complete of patient enrollment, overall 400 patients. And we are going to come up with the data of this study towards end of this year. Additional proof of concept came out of the phase 2A NASH study. You can see here a significant decrease in the accumulation of liver fat. We have, see, we have shown it via MRI in comparison to patients who were treated with less and also who were placebo. Also, in the advanced liver cancer phase two study, we have a very good proof of concept. Patients who are treated with our drug has a much longer overall survival time. So with the clinical proof of concept, I would like to share with you our business development strategy. Basically, we know how to develop the drugs. We know how to register the drugs with the regulatory authorities, FDA and DMA, but we will not be the ones that will market the drugs. And we are putting lots of efforts in order to sign partnerships with companies who will later on down the road, when we will register the drugs, will be able to market them. So typical deal structure includes upfront money upon signing the agreement, regulatory milestone payments, royalties, and sales milestone payments. Till today, we have received $20 million out of upfront money and $130 million, which are going to get into the company a bit down the road. We have signed seven different agreements with the Canadian company, Cypher Pharmaceutical, Gabro Pharma and El Pharma in Europe, CMS uh, in China, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in China, and two agreements that we have signed in Korea. Let's move on and let me take you through our first drug candidate, Piclidenozone, currently positioned for the treatment of psoriasis and COVID-19. You can see here a very specific mechanism of action to the drug. The drug is a small molecule, orally bioavailable molecule. As, as I mentioned, we have already conducted an interim analysis in the psoriasis phase three study. The interim analysis was very positive. And as I mentioned, top line results from this study are expected towards end of year. Regarding the COVID-19, the drug has a robust anti-inflammatory effect, and all of us know that the main manifestations of COVID-19 is inflammation in the lung. Our drug has the capability of combating this inflammation in the lung. We are aiming at the phase two clinical study and at the enrollment of 40 patients. We have been approved by the FDA for this clinical study, and we have envisioned the data will come out towards end of this year as well. Regarding the second drug candidate, namodenozone, it is currently positioned for the treatment of liver diseases, advanced liver cancer, and NASH. So regarding the liver cancer, we are going to initiate a pivotal phase three clinical study during Q4 this year. We have been granted by the FDA and the EMA a fast track status and an orphan drug status. We are having in Israel an ongoing compassionate use program, and we are going to initiate the phase three pivotal clinical study during Q4 this year. So this is additional clinical milestone. 
Regarding the NASH, we have shown in the former phase two clinical study, reduced liver fat content, inhibition of fibrosis, anti-inflammatory effect, and we have just announced that we are initiating the phase two B clinical study ahead on time during Q3 this year. And let me take you through the CF602, the drug candidate for erectile dysfunction. This drug is very active in preclinical studies, and it is active both when we give it orally or when we give it topically. We are going to position it as a drug for patients who suffer from diabetes and also from cardiovascular indications, it is still in a preclinical stage of development. The same is true for the cannabis-derived pharmaceutical program that we are having at Kenfi. The rationale is the capability of cannabinoid, cannabis-derived compound, to bind to the very same a target that can fight develop. We can predict in a very early stage if a given CBD compound can be efficacious later on in the clinic. So this is our strengths and we are going to create partnerships with different uh, cannabis companies. So just to summarize, I have presented you with a novel therapeutic approach today. Oral drugs, small molecule drugs with proven safety and efficacy. We have a very broad intellectual property portfolio. We have already signed a couple of corporate partnerships and got non dilutive money into the company. And we are financially well positioned. We just released our Q1 financials. Thank you very much, and I will be very happy to answer questions. Thank you, Dr. Fishman. So the first question coming from Bruce Kong here. Uh, you had a success in clinical trial to work the liver cancer. And so what's next for the for the for this program now? So uh, actually we are going to initiate a pivotal phase three clinical study. Very shortly, we have been blessed, got a green line from both the FDA and the EMA for this program, for this phase three study. And is also follow up with a question, is there are there a lot of other ongoing drug or treatment uh, right now for liver cancer? What's the, the state of the space here? Actually, we are treating patients, only patients with advanced disease who failed already uh, the first line, which can be Nexavar or other two drugs which are already approved. But we are treating only the most advanced patients. We need to keep in mind that our drug has a liver protective effect on top of the anti-cancer effect. And we hope very much to be successful with this liver cancer program. And this next question coming from uh, Kaliana is asking, when do you expect uh, his Nelson, your drug candidate to move to the phase three trial for COVID? Uh, actually with the psoriasis, we are heading also towards a conclusion of the first phase three clinical study, and we will embark upon successful conclusion right away on the second phase three study, which we envision that will take two years, and then we will be able to approach the FDA and register the drug with the FDA and with the EMA. Okay, and the next question coming from Anchor here, is the company the sole owner of your, your IPs or the IPs? Uh, we, our chairman is actually the owner of the largest IP firm in Israel, and he's on top of uh, all our intellectual property. We have 15 families of patents, which actually uh, cover and protect uh, the uh, NEA. It means uh, the compounds themselves, the way of manufacturing, the different clinical applications, and more. 
And what's your current burn weight here from Yeezy Han here, this question? Uh, actually, we are very lean uh, with our uh, expenses, the GNA, of course, and most of the expenses will go for the clinical studies. Uh, now that we envision the initiation of two clinical studies uh, during Q3 and Q4, the expenses will start being done only at the early next year. So we are very well positioned now with $11.8 million in the bank and uh, more money is going to be infused from the regulatory milestone payments and from more uh, agreements that we are going to sign. Okay, I think I, think I ran through all the questions here. Thank you for, uh, for sharing your story and answering all the questions with us here, or Dr. Fishman. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Uh, stay safe there. Mm -hmm.